Hey guys, so I'm going to showcase the new characters this update. I don't really know much about these characters, but I know that all of them are easy to play, and the Lancer is just brain dead and should get nerfed. But I haven't really played them myself, so I don't know. The first move is Yadamir. This move goes behind the opponent's guard. So if someone uses this move on you, just turn around and you could block it. Next move is Light Speed Kick. This is a guard break for 25 damage. Um, and it knocks away. So, yeah. It's pretty good damage, not gonna lie. Then Kick Combo. This does, um, no, it does 35 damage. And that is also a guard break. The fourth move is Finger Laser. This move does 7.5 damage if they block it, and it has very low cooldown. So it does a lot of block damage, that's crazy. Now, a combo you can maybe go for is probably this. Oh, hold up, boy. He just block what? You know what? Okay, you, you get it though. Uh, 3M1 slam down Yadamir and kick combo. That should be true, but since the dummy flopped, he was able to block the Yadamir because he was facing the right way to block it. Oops. And you could go for finger laser too. That does a lot of damage, it's a pretty good combo. And yes, the Yadamir should be true. If it isn't, then I'll have to revise the combo, but I can't really think of anything else. His Awakening, he has Heaven Sword. This is a guard break. 45 damage. Yadamir, oh by the way, this move has hella long range. Look at that. 30 damage with that move. And then Yasakani Jewels. This is blockable. His only blockable move is the way he uh, It does about 60 or 70 damage. And then Heavy Kick. Um, 40 damage. Now, if you're looking for a combo to just one hit your opponent um just do this oh it doesn't exactly it does 100 damage if they don't block the last hidden heaven sword but yeah that's um balanced of course Next character is Akainu. Um, so this Akainu is kind of broken, not gonna lie. First move is Lava Pillar. This is a guard break move, um, and it's it's pretty easy to hit, not gonna lie. 15 damage. Next move is Plume. With that move, it does 20 damage. You could play cooldowns with it if you so desire. Um, it's blockable, so you could block that move. So it's not completely busted. You could probably up tilt into it. I'm not sure, though. <clears throat> Lava Pool's next. This move does damage, it does damage a second time if the opponent stays in the pool and a guard breaks too. Oh no, maybe it only damages one time. I don't know. I thought it damages twice, whatever. Uh, that's a guard break. Lava Fist is the last move and it's blockable. And 20 damage. So now, we need a combo. Hmm. 
maybe. Okay, can we M1 after Lava Fist? That didn't even hit. Holy, okay, I don't know, man. All right, I think I think I got a combo here, but I'm gonna have to wipe one of these. Oh wait, can I up tilt into lava? Answer, no, I mean yes, but it's not viable. Oh, that's a test. Oh, that's block is over there. Okay. Okay, I think this is a combo. Oh yeah, see it's damage. Okay, so it does do damage a second time, and also up tilting in the lava fist is kind of difficult. I don't know, but that's your combo. Okay, Awakening. Magma Pillar, it does this. It, it's basically Lava Pillar, but there's five of them. 20 damage. Plume Punch is basically like, uh... The Plume. That's a Guard Break. Magma Pillar also Guard Breaks. 30 damage for Plume Punch. Great Eruption is... It's gear third, but it doesn't take awakening, and it does uh, only 40 damage. Well, not only it does a lot, but gear third definitely does more. <laughs> and then magma fist. It's like the lava pool move, but it's ranged. I don't know if you could actually hit it close up. Like I don't know, and I'm pretty sure that's a guard break. So now, let's talk combos. Yeah, it moves pretty good for running. <laughs> okay, so a combo you could do is probably this. That's blockable. Oh, just kidding. Wow. I think the actual fists are blockable, but the pools of lava are guard breaks. Huh. Okay. How to do this then? And wait, this is blockable? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you cannot use Magma Pillar in the air. Boy, that move does not hit close to you at all. He has a ranged awakening. I don't know if you could combo. Maybe do something like this. That's all I could think of. Uh, other than that, just stay back and spam your skills. Especially with this. This is a really good move. If your opponent stays in there, oh boy. The third character and final character is my boy Lancer, which I got his legendary skin, and I can't use him, okay. I will say, his skin looks really good. This is a fantastic skin. So first move, Flourish. This is a guard break, the last, I mean, well, the last tick guard breaks. It's a barrage move. Does that. Blink the rest. This is a TP move. It goes behind the opponent, so you have to turn around to block. Uh, but first, yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll just use it like this. Okay. So yeah, it does that. 10 damage. 
Lunge is the next move. This is blockable. Does the last hit guard break that? I don't know. It does that, 25 damage. Then, Vault. This is obviously a guard break. It's like Yoroichi's move, but it has slightly bigger hitbox. 25 damage. Uh, so if you see here, Flourish. It guard breaks. They should really remove that. That's so dumb. Blink the rest. Let me see if I could make him block it. Okay. So yeah, Blink Thrust is blockable 100%. Uh, Lunge is 100% blockable, and then Vault is a guard break that I completely missed because I'm stupid. Um, there aren't exactly any combos you could do. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try this on a healing dummy. Maybe do something like this. This is this part's not true, but it might work, it might not, who knows? It's worth a try. I don't think you could get punished for doing that. But yeah. Now is awakening. Soaring Strikes. Um, this is a guard break. I don't know why this guard breaks, but it does. Lunge. Um, basically the same thing, but it does 40 damage now. That move is crazy. And then Guts is a move that gives you more awakening back when you die. And this is part of the reason why Lancer is so no skill. You literally cannot... His base is no skill, but in his awakening, your opponent literally cannot fight back. Because... Watch. Look at that. I got all my mode back. Just, just by dying. Now the mode... It looks like it drains faster, but that's not the point. You get all your mode back, you get a speed boost, and you get a damage buff too. That's so stupid. And then Gay Bulge, one hits no matter what. It doesn't matter if you block. It doesn't matter if you have a million health. It one hits. Um... I think it might do AoE too. If it does AoE, that's kind of stupid. It doesn't do AoE in the anime, but whatever. For a combo... You could literally... I don't know. You literally only need to do this. I don't know why I'm doing this on Super Dummy, don't question me. <laughs> oh damn, I'm lagging. I want to get the eyes in Legendary. That thing looks fire, not gonna lie. Yep, that's all you need to do. And, um, after doing this combo, just wait four soaring strikes and lunge, you know, just do that again. Gay bolt 100 zero combo. You know what, let's test to see if it's AoE. There should be no reason why this moves AoE, but just in case, man, just in case. This way. Okay. Nope, hits one. Choose wisely, people. 
Characters with a guaranteed one hit uh, are just stupid. I don't like fighting with those kind of characters. Like, you, you can't even fight back. If someone uses Gay Bulge on you, it's over. Now, let's see the accuracy of Gay Bulge. I'm pretty sure it's just guaranteed, but let's see. Yeah, I wasn't even aiming, and that move is obviously too fast to dodge. Um, but yeah. Whoa. I have no clue what happened there, okay. You might be able to get the opponent with that combo one time, if they don't know what you're up to. I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's how you do it, bro. That is so cheese. Yeah, that's it for this video. I'll probably do ranked matches for these characters when rank resets. But see you guys later. Peace.